What's up guys? Tyler is out getting a new tattoo and he's in a lot of pain. So he's not exactly in the mood to take any videos. So I'm filling in for him and I'm giving you guys some exclusive content, specifically the ingredients for the daily bread vlog. What you're gonna get out of it is you're gonna have everything that's necessary to take your content creation game to the next level. If you nail these three ingredients, you are going to be better off than 95% of the people you see out there. So to understand what we're doing here, you have to understand a little bit about sports, right? I'm an athlete, Tyler's an athlete, and when we started the Daily Bread vlog, we wanted to dominate the competition. Some people might say that art is not about competition, it's just about self-expression, but you know what? Screw that. There are numbers, there are points, there are likes, there are shares, there are all these different metrics that you can use to see how you're doing in the game of content creation. And like any game, the person who's the most dominant in certain metrics is the person that we could say is the best at the sport. So for example, if you're the best in the world at dribbling, and you're the best in the world at passing, and you're the best in the world at shooting, then that's gonna make it really likely that you're gonna be one of the best players in the world in general. So we have to take that into mind and we have to understand the difference between knowledge and skill sets. What I'm giving you right here is some tips, is some knowledge, but to develop the skill sets, you're gonna have to practice and you're gonna have to employ everything I'm giving to you in your everyday life. But as long as we do that, as long as we keep practicing, we will nail the fundamentals. And to nail the fundamentals, we have to nail the fundamentals of the fundamentals. Like when you are shooting a ball, you have to learn the fundamental of keeping your elbow inwards and aligning your feet correctly and shooting with your legs, not uh, despite your legs. Right? So again, these are the fundamentals and the fundamentals are the fundamentals to have the best content possible. What I determined when I was creating the Daily Bread vlog with Tyler was that there were three things that kept popping up in the best channels, the best YouTube channels, the best Instagram channels, the best Facebook pages in the world. And that's that they were consistent, the content was high quality, and that the content was beautiful. 90% of people don't even have any one of these three things. The rest of the people maybe have one thing out of these three. A few others maybe have two out of the three. But almost no one, maybe less than 1% of all content that you might find has all three at the same time. So if you want to take your content game to the next level, you have to have all three. And that's what we're going to dive into. Let's start off by talking about consistency. 90% of people don't post every day. 95% of people don't post multiple times per day. So if we're trying to get to the top of the game, that means that to be able to beat nine out of 10 people, all we have to do is just show up every single day. That's why on the Daily Bread, you find us posting or at least going live every single day. Just that one factor, man, that's so difficult for pretty much everybody. And you're gonna be able to wipe the competition just by showing up. But you also wanna be consistent in your presence. You wanna be omnipresent. You wanna show up on multiple platforms on once. You wanna to get to a point where people say, man, I found you on Facebook, then I saw you pop up on my recommendations in YouTube, but I finally cracked because I saw one of your posts on Instagram, and I had to say, your content is fire. And in order for that ha to happen, in order for them to say that your content is fire, you have to be consistent in your quality which is a great lead up to the next point, quality. If you're asking about what it means to have quality content, it's very simple. And it comes from Andy Frisella's formula, E2I. Educate, entertain, impact. People will come back to you when every single time they see your content, they are learning something and their life is that much better. You also wanna be entertaining. Don't be this snooze fest, include some music include some jokes, include some funky things that break people out of the norm. That's what people want when they go onto YouTube or they go onto Facebook. They're a little bit bored, 
and they want something that's different from their regular old lives. Lastly, you wanna impact people. You wanna create a feeling of inspiration or just in general, you want to take their emotions and make them the most extreme emotions possible. So ask yourself, is your video very boring? Does your video have any emotion to it? Or does your video make people very, very angry, very, very happy, very, very sad, very, very excited, very, very scared, any one of these things. It just has to be very emotional. And when you can hit all three of these, when you can educate, entertain, and impact at the same time, that is a piece of content that has a great chance to go viral because it's got so much value packed into it. Lastly, let's talk about beauty. I once had a Zen master that I studied under. And this man was one of the most enlightened people in the world. Every single sentence he said was beautiful and unlocked a whole new world of possibility. But almost no one knows about this man's words and almost no one can benefit from his words because he skimped out on a camera and his videos are just horribly grainy and barely audible. That said, he was very consistent and his content, everything that he said was very high quality. So if your content doesn't look professional, if it doesn't look as good as it possibly can look, you are missing out. Let's say you wanna be the world's expert on something and you're giving away financial tips. Why are you recording with an iPhone with really ugly lighting? That shouldn't be the case. Have some pride in your words and package your content appropriately. This starts with lighting, okay? Just make it so that you are the brightest thing on the screen. Do not, do not, do not, do not put yourself in front of something incredibly bright so that you're the darkest thing on the screen and that everything behind you is bright on the screen. That looks absolutely ugly, it's super amateur and you need to stop it. Next, you need to have good composition. For now, just use something called the rule of thirds. Split the screen up into three different sections and put your face in the middle of one of those lines that cuts the screen to three sections. And more important than that, use a tripod. Tripods are not that expensive, but they step up the quality of your Facebook Lives, your Instagram Lives, all of your content in general to a huge degree. I really mean it, you can go to amazon.com and for maybe 20 bucks, you can tenfold the quality of your content's beauty. Lastly, have good audio. Just put the camera's audio within about three feet of your face and make sure that there's not much else going on in the background while you're talking. These videos of people standing around outside and you hear the wind, in the video, that, that's unacceptable. Just take the time to be in a quiet place, don't be in a rush, and make sure your audio is on point. If you're using an iPhone, just use the headphones that come with the iPhone, and that audio sounds great. In this shot, you can actually see my entire studio setup, and you can see that I have my shotgun mic right in front of me, so that I'm not picking up the sounds of the air conditioner or the refrigerator out in the kitchen. So to recap, here's a checklist of things that you can go over to make sure whether or not your content is at the top of the game. This is the checklist that I have in my head when I'm creating a Daily Bread episode. So first I'm asking myself, am I documenting this event or am I creating something with event, this event? And there's a big difference between documenting and creating. Documenting, you're just, you're just making sure that everything that was said is captured on film. If I'm creating something, then I'm creating a work of art and I'm looking to be as original as possible. Know yourself, know your strengths, and know whether you're documenting or creating. Next ask, am I using my skills appropriately? Do you need to hire someone else to make content for you? If you do, go ahead and find that person. Delegate out, go to fiverr.com for example to get a really cool audio intro for your channel or a really cool video intro for your channel. That's what Tyler did for his podcast, that's what I did for my own podcast as well. Next, ask yourself if you're posting every day. As I mentioned before, if you post every day, you beat 95% of the public. Then ask, am I posting on at least three platforms? By posting on multiple platforms, 
people get the chance to see your content and realize that they actually like it. Marketing studies show that it takes people on average eight to nine viewings to purchase a product that they actually like. So imagine what it would take for someone to examine your content, especially if it's a video, and realize that they like it. Ask yourself what you've taught in this video. Your video should have a point. It should have some lesson to it. Then ask what makes your video unbelievable. Make, ask yourself what makes it super emotional, either super angry or super sad or super happy or super inspiring or super uh, fear inducing. Just make sure that your video has an emotion to it. And if you can't describe the emotion that the video has, your video probably sucks. Then ask, could I watch this video on a computer and a mobile phone? Most content is consumed on mobile phones. So make sure that the subject is in point enough that you can view it on a cell phone, but also make sure that it doesn't look ugly when you blow it up on a big screen of a computer. And at the same time, make sure the audio is nice so that people can listen to it or experience it while they're driving around in their car. And finally, ask yourself, if you're not doing these things, why do you expect to win? Why do you expect to compete with a guy like Tyler or I? Why do you expect to put this content out there? Why do you think it's helpful? Please don't be that person who's narcissistically putting content out there just for the sake of putting content out there. Put stuff out there that makes for a better world. That right there, that notion, put content out that makes for a better world, that's what started the Daily Bread vlog. Tyler wanted to show someone what it looks like to really grind. He knew that he was not the mega, mega millionaire, and he knew that he wasn't some idiot life coach who doesn't have any experience, but instead he's a person going through it and he could provide lessons along the way. I signed on to The Daily Bread because I knew that the mission, vision, and values of the product were incredible and that it would actually benefit people's lives. And, you know, after I don't know, what is this, 145 episodes? I know for a fact that someone could go through every single day and watch every episode of the Daily Bread vlog once per day, and that the lessons they learn from our channel could take them from a nobody to a somebody. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm TJ. Tyler will see you next time, and this is The Daily Bread. Bread.